that's an interesting study that's based on, on Panchats. Maybe you know the name from the Herbst appliance. And he found out when we bring the front teeth back, there's no one-to-one -one amount of following of the lip. So for example, many dentists say that extractions ruin the face. But in the end, when you look at the face, we look at the soft tissue first, obviously. And there's a three to one rule, three millimeters of retroclination or retraction of the labial segment will lead to round about, rule of the thumb, one millimeter retraction of the lip, which is not a lot. And when we talk about, for example, um, the full unit class two in the molars, and we extract the premolars to bring the full front backwards with a we, we decrease in a seven millimeter overjet yeah then the maximum of retraction is seven millimeters which will end up in about of about two millimeters of retraction of the lip which is not that much it may be significant in some cases which looked not right before anyways but if you have really teeth sticking out like that and the lip is over there and then the lip is definitely allowed to come back by two millimeters. 